This is the first section of chapter one on algorithms, and this is using and understanding algorithms. So first of all, what is an algorithm? Well, an algorithm is a process or a set of instructions that need to be followed. And in fact, lots of D1, decision one module, is about algorithms, processes, or sets of instructions that need to be followed. And they need to be followed to the letter. They need to be followed exactly to ensure that you follow an algorithm correctly. Okay, so in this example here, it says the happy algorithm or the happy set of instructions or process is this. Write down any integer, uh, square its digits and find the sum of its digits. So we've got the first instruction, second instruction there. Continue with this number and then the fourth instruction, repeat and, until either the answer is one, in which case the number is happy, or until you get trapped in a cycle, in which case the number is unhappy. So we've got two numbers here. Part A, we want to show that A is happy, and part uh, B, we want to show that B is unhappy. Okay, so let's start with part A, and we just follow the instructions. So part A, we're starting with the number 70. Um, so first instruction here, uh, once we've written down the number, or write down any integer, I suppose we'll write that down. Then it says square its digits. Okay, so you square seven, you square zero. Then find the sum of its digits. Okay, so that's the instru second instruction followed. Continue with this number. Well, that number now is going to be 49. Then what do we do? We square the digits and we find the sum of them. So that's going to be 36 plus 81, which is 97. So then we write out those digits and square them and add them. So it's going to be 9 squared plus 7 squared. So that's going to be 81 plus 49, which is 130. Then I write those digits out. Now it's three digits. So it's going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 0 squared. So that is going to be 10. And um, I continue with the process. 1 squared plus 0 squared is 1. Now, what does the algorithm say? It says continue with this number. Repeat until the answer is either one, in which case the, the number is happy, which is what we've got, or we get trapped in a cycle. So we don't get trapped in a cycle. So we can finish off our conclusion is that 70 is happy. OK, so let's now move on and do the number four. Right, so it's just the number four. So we just square four, so that's going to give us 16. Then it's going to be one squared plus six squared. So that's going to be one plus 36, it's going to be 37. So that's going to be three squared plus seven squared, which is going to be nine plus 49, which is 58. Then it's going to be five squared plus eight squared. So that'll be 25 plus 64, which is 89 then we're going to do 8 squared plus 9 squared so that will be 64 plus 81 which is 145 so 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared so you can see this is going on a little bit longer than last one so that will be um, 1 plus 16 17 plus 25 which is 42 OK, so we're going to carry on up here. So this is a continuation of it. So now it's going to be four squared plus two squared. So can you see once you start the algorithm, you don't actually need to read the instruction. You, you know the steps that you need to to follow. OK, so that'll be uh, 16, 16 plus uh, four, which is going to be uh, 20. Then 2 squared plus 0 squared. Well, that's just going to be 4. Then it's 4 squared, which is 16. Now, can you see what's happened is when we get to 4, we're basically back at the start of our list of numbers. So we're going to end up going through this cycle again. So there's no point carrying on because I can see, well, you know, I got to four squared and then 16 and then 16 is going to be this and it's going to be this. So I'm actually going to go around in this cycle again. So this is the start of the cycle. 
in fact any one of these numbers could be the start of the cycle but after this certain number of steps let's see how many number steps one two three four five six seven eight steps i'm back to the start so um i can say since we return to four and go through the cycle again the cycle again it means that four is unhappy so it's just about following those instructions okay so this time the algorithm has been written and each instruction is just numbered a bit like a computer program and computer programs are algorithms it's a process a set of instructions that the computer follows so we just need to implement this and when we start to get things like this it's often useful to um, put our results in a table to keep ourselves organized okay so um, first thing I'm going to write down in this first column heading is like the step number um, so that I know which step I'm following I can keep a track of where I'm going so step number there now I can see that I've got some letters here which are representing numbers and some of them are going to change as we go through so I've got n n starts off as one and then I can see um, n gets increased by one here so i'm going to uh, put n as one of the headings then i've got what we call these variables a b and c they're going to change so i want to keep track of what they are so i'll just put a b and c then there's this instruction here which is print c in other words output or actually show on the screen or on a printer this result so the last column we're just going to write the word print so that we can see what actually gets output what gets put on the screen All right so the first one it says let n equals one a equals one and b equals one so we're on step one and a and b and n all equal one okay so we now move on to step number two which says print a and b so step number two i print a and b so let's write down the values of a and b here so we've done step number two step number three let c equal a plus b in other words the variable c is going to be equal to sum of um, a and b so it's just one plus one which is two that's step number three so um, variable c is now going to equal two then step number four it says print c so step number four print c and c's value is two right now we're on to this step now here it says let n equal n plus one so this is just another way of saying increase n by one whatever uh, n was before we just add one to it yeah so the previous value of n plus one so the new value of n is now going to be two right so we'll put that down this is step number five so n is now uh, plus one so it's now two a let a equal b okay so a um, is going to equal what b is which is one and let b equal to what c is so b is now going to equal two okay so we're now on to step number six and it says if n is less than five go to three so n is less than five so we'll put this as step six here so if n is less than five go to three so n is less than five so we're going to go to step three right so we go to step three now what does step three say let c equal a plus b so a is one b is two so c is going to equal three now then we're on to step number four which is print c so c is now three step number five increase basically increase n by one so n is now three so you can see the advantage of putting all these things in the table it makes it much easier to keep track of what uh, we're doing so yeah we've just increased um, n by one 
and then it says make a equal to b so a is now going to be what b was is 2 and b now equals c so b now equals 3 okay we're now on to step number six if n is less than five go to step three n is still less than five n is only three so we're going to go to step three so step three step three make c equal to a uh, plus b so that's going to make it five because a is two b is three print c step number four so the output is going to be the number five um, and then step number five increase n by one so n now becomes four uh, make a equal to b so a is now going to equal three that's what b was and b equal to c so b equals five uh, step number six n is less than five yes n is still less than five so we go to step three again step three make c equal to a plus b that's going to be three plus five so it's going to be eight step number four print c so it's going to be eight step number five increase n by one so n is now five and we're going to make a equal to b so a is now going to be five because that's what b was and we make b equal to c so b is now eight now when we get to step number six um, it says if n is less than five go to step three well it's not less than five so because it's actually equal to five so we go on to step seven so i might actually write down seven here um, so next to six i could i could maybe put no action yeah actually what i'm doing is just going down to the next instruction and it says if n equals five stop so we stop here and part b asks us to describe the numbers that are generated by this algorithm well let's have a look at the numbers that were printed one one two three five eight i recognize those numbers it generates the fibonacci sequence so this algorithm Uh, generates the Fibonacci sequence or from the numbers we've seen it generates it may change later on but it looks like it's always going to be doing that okay so we've got another algorithm here and it says this algorithm uh, multiplies two numbers a and b make a table of two columns which I've done write a in the top of the left hand column and b at the top of the right hand column then it says in the next row of the table in the left hand column write the number that is half of a ignoring any remainders in the right hand column the number that is double b repeat step two until you reach the row that has one in the left hand column delete all rows where the number in the left hand column is even find the sum of the non-deleted numbers in the right hand column the product is a times b so we're starting with part a here and the two numbers for part a are a is 29 and b is 34 so on this step here um, in the next row of the table in the left hand column the number that is half of a ignoring any remainder so half of this number ignoring any, re any remainder so that's going to be 14 so put 14 here in the right hand column the number that is double b so we want to double this number that's going to be 68 now step number three basically just says repeat this step here of halving and doubling halving and ignoring the remainder until you have one in the left hand column so i'm basically looking for the number one in this column and then once I've got that, then I can move on to step four. So half ignoring any remainder, double, so that'll be 136. Half ignoring any remainder, so that'd be three, double 136, that'll be 272. Half ignoring any remainder, so that'd be one, double, 
that'll be 544 right so now I've got to this point until it says um, to reach the row which has one in the left hand column so that's here so now I can move on to step four delete all the rows where the number in the left hand column is even now that's just this one that's the only column that has an even number so let's just cross that out like that and then it says find the sum of the non-deleted numbers in the right hand column so find the sum of these numbers here and that is the product of a times b right so let's write total or sum here and let's um add those numbers up i'll use my calculator for that so um 34 plus 136 plus 272 plus 544 and we get 986 so this is the product of a times b so what i can do for part a is say that 29 times by 34 is equal to 986 right let's move on to part b so that we can work out what 66 times 56 is times 56 now since i've done this algorithm once already i think i'll be able to fairly quickly go through this without having to actually read through all the instructions again so i remember i'll write the two numbers 66 and 56 i half one ignoring any remainder i double the other so 56 doubles 112 so i half to 33 ignoring the remainder um so actually you could think well if it's an odd number you just take away one divide by two so that's going to be 16 double the second column so that's going to be 224 half the 16 double the 224 448 half the eight double the 448 896 half to four double the 896 so I use my calculator 896 times 2 is 1792 half to 2 double the 1792 which is 3584 I remember the algorithm is that 4 said you stop when you get that 1 in the left hand column then we cross out all the rows where the um the left hand column is even that's it so left hand column is even uh here here it's quite a few that are even so all of those so that just leaves these numbers here to add up to get my total so that total is just going to be 3584 plus 112 which is 3696 so 3696 so I can write that 66 times 56 is 3696 and if we do that on our calculator just to double check 66 times 56 yeah the algorithm works you should now be able to do exercise 1a and it's just on page 5 and just a quick recap um, an algorithm is a process or a set of instructions and the most important is that they must be followed precisely so don't skip steps don't think you've got a shortcut and you want to do it a slightly different way always follow the steps exactly as they are written and it often helps as well to um, record your actions and results in a table even a even if the question doesn't ask you to do that that's always good practice that helps keep you organized and ensures that you don't miss any steps out and that you follow the steps exactly